Hello everybody, dmart 95 here, about ready to do the third part in our video series. Uh, I've been tuning this thing out with an oxygen sensor made by Ecotrons. Well, actually it's a Bosch 4.9 uh, oxygen sensor, wideband. But it's a kit made by Ecotrons. It comes with their AML meter, their accurate lambda meter. And I've been using it to tune this new build. This has got an A9 camshaft in it. Uh, a free flow air filter. I've got a free flow air exhaust or uh, exhaust on there. And it's got stainless steel valves. It's got a few things. Well, I've been having a hard time getting it tuned right. So what I've done so far is I went down from a uh, 40 to a 35. That got me, and on the low RPMs, that got me to where I need to be. I'm at 14.7. Now, 14.7, if you haven't watched the prior videos, is where you're going to want to be on your meter. That is what's considered a perfect air-fuel ratio. So, I'm getting ready to do my third run, or third test on this thing. I went down to, from, I started out with a 125 for the uh, main. I, w I went from a 125 down to a 114. I was still running too rich so I dropped it down to a 110 and now we're getting ready to see what that's like so here we go I'm getting ready to test this out and the current setup I've got in here is a 35 and a 110 and this is a 61 millimeter with the a9 so here it goes let's see what we're at Now you'll notice right now, it's at 11.9, 12. That's because the, the enricher's on right now. When you first start them up, the auto choke will run for a little bit. So we'll watch that for a second. And as soon as that auto choke goes off, you see, you'll see them numbers slowly climb. That means the auto enricher, the needle is slowly closing. See, it's going up to 12.5, 12.7. Now you can always hurry. There it goes. See, my auto choke closed, the enricher. Right now we're at 14.7, which is where we want. Well, see, it's bouncing around. It'll go up to 15. Then drop back down to 13. Well, actually, it's going in between 14 and 15. That's showing I'm a little lean. If you go above 14.7, you're lean. If you go below 14.7, you're rich. Oh, there it did. It just dropped down to 13. Okay, see, low RPMs at idle. We're doing really good. Number 35 is where you want to be. I'm getting a perfect a AFR. Now look, if you adjust your air fuel screw on your carburetor, that will change. I'll do that just to show you guys. See there, what I did was I turned it a half a turn clockwise. Because what that did is that shut off the air. Now, if I turn it to the left, that will increase the airflow. Or not left, but uh, counterclockwise. Here, let's do that. Let's make it rich.
see how awesome that thing is? I turned it a half a turn counterclockwise and we made it rich just that easy. Now, high RPMs. Okay, so as you can see, when I rev it up, uh, it took that AF, the my gauge, it took it right on up, or actually we went down, but we went rich. So, is what that's telling me is my 110 is too big. I'm going to have to go with the 108 or 105. So, that's fun. This is the fourth time I've pulled this carb. That's what it means to jet a carburetor. You have to take the thing off, put jets in, continuously do it until you get the right uh, air-fuel mixture. Now, I have found it really, 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 really hard to do if you do not have an uh, oxygen sensor. I know guys, they are really good. They can tell just by the smell of what's coming out of the exhaust. Uh, if you're rich or if you're lean This is the exhaust I'm using it's a D star It's a true open free flow exhaust uh, My buddy piston guy has got kind of a really close scooter to this and uh He he said he's got a really good tune on it says he's got it up to 66 miles per hour or something like that super fast for one of these uh and he's got very similar exhaust it's free flow i don't quite know what he has for intake but anyways i'm getting distracted here so i'm gonna go ahead and stop this video for now because uh i gotta swap out the carb and hopefully we'll have it right on our fourth try so i'll uh, see you guys in that video if you want to discuss anything you've seen in this you're more than welcome to leave a comment in the comment section. However, uh, if you're wanting to have a more in-depth discussion, uh, go to my forum, dansgaragetalk.com. Again, that's dansgaragetalk.com. And I'll be glad to discuss anything you've seen in, in this video. Uh, thanks for watching. This is Dean Mart D Martin 95 and I'm out.